They have won that conference in the HBCU, and we are underway. After Central won the toss and deferred, Duke receives, and the Blue Devils will start the football game at their own 19-yard line. Win that game on special teams and don't turn the football over, you can have success. On the reverse, it's T.J. Ramming, and he's got room to run at midfield to the 40 and finally chased out of bounds. Jaquel Taylor, the free safety. This Duke offense, they don't do a whole lot of motion, but when they do, they'll find a way to get the ball in their hands of T.J. Ramming and their wide receivers on jet sweep. So they're typically a static team offensively when they've got no guys moving, but when they have those wide receivers doing that, they can really spread the field far in this early game in two ball games. So find himself in the backfield. Little pass and catch. Ramming makes the first man miss. And he isn't brought down until the 16-yard line when Taylor is able to make the stop. Anthony Sherrill, the free safety or strong safety for this team, right there gets fooled. He's one of the best tacklers on this team, and that just shows you. Off the play fake to the end zone. He's got a man, but was he in bounds? Yes! Touchdown! Davis, Copenhaver, the tight end, gets the Blue Devils on the board first team gets down in the red zone you can expect them to look for their tight ends and they have a talented group of tight ends Copenhagen what you said is second touchdown catch of the year a really nice throw again by Harris to the outside you may think oh don't lead him outside too much picked up 10 yards so it's second down and five Harris over the middle good coverage by Taylor the free safety senior from nearby Raleigh able to break it up another flag First, number 43 defense on the feet uh, on penalty. the field it's a uh, personal down. foul roughing the passer screen pass caught Taylor able to get down to the 16 yard line to go quick as possible here and really put pressure on the defense flush from the pocket scrambling inside the five Harris still on his feet for a touchdown Well, he is a true dual threat quarterback. It's the thing everybody knew that he could do, and he really showed at Baylor he could throw the football, especially that deep ball down the field, but this is what he's been known for. Read that defense. Yeah, Coach Eastman says Ramadan, quote, gets it. Hands it off here, and here goes a big run with plenty of open space. Isaiah Totten, who last year torched Duke for an 81-yard touchdown, picks up a huge chunk of yardage here today. You mentioned just a small crease here. He finds his way through there, makes one move, and that's the last line of defense when you miss the tackle as a free safety there and had an opportunity three like that. They could let down this week, but he wasn't going to let him do that with that special team onside kick. My goodness. Trey Hornbuckle tackled the entire the NC Central backfield all by himself. For one there is, you're right, he got the quarterback the and the play. running back oh, here, and we want to do it. Not sure who's got the ball. Tackle them both. <laughs> what an effort on his part. So third down and 12. Ramadan chased from the pocket. Puts it up. Dangerous pass. Falls incomplete. Britton Brown straight up the middle, and he's got a first down. That's what makes him so good offensively. Fake the toss, wide open tight end at midfield. Big pickup for the Blue Devils. For Quentin Harris, finding guys over the middle, that's going to be key for him. And he said that's the way Bear used to do it, and he said that means Duke is better able to withstand some of the injuries that they have dealt with this year. Screen pass set up beautifully, and that is going to go for a touchdown. Britton Brown. A 43-yard pass from Quentin Harris. Nice to pad the stats when you have a running back that you can just throw the ball out there on a screen. Plenty of blocking in front of him down the field, but this is all on the running back. Brown, so much credit for their ability to get more speed on the field and talent. Down the sideline, caught beautifully on a wonderfully thrown pass. It's Nikkei Martin out of bounds. That's the guy we were talking about earlier. Had a huge game at Baylor last week with nine tackles in that football game. And 
They're going to try to pick on him early, and a beautiful throw to the outside led him perfectly. Try to beat us if you can. Ramadan rolling right, directing traffic, and he's going to be chased out of bounds by Humphreys, who are our kind of guys, and develop them, and that is what they have done. Isaiah Totten with nowhere to run. Totten Met in the backfield, Joe Giles Harris, the redshirt junior Scott from Jones Nyack, New York. 252 career tackles coming into this football game. Finds himself in the backfield. Sit behind that big defensive front, they'll get in the backfield. They're like an old married couple, so the coaches say. Going up top again, this time a little too long for E.J. Hicks. That's John Humphreys, he's a four-star from California. Stanford is said to be the school he's leaning towards, his parents' alma mater. We've got flags in the backfield. Let's see if there was contact on the punt. Personal foul, leaping the punt shield. Number 96, defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic, first down. On second down, good cut by Totten. Boy, he really belongs on that field with the ACC players. He is tremendous. 21-yard touchdown run for the redshirt sophomore from Apex, North Carolina. Right foot in the ground. This is the second time we've seen him go to the right side, not just once, but right here, too. Bam! Makes that quick mm. move, and once he does that, again, the free safety misses the tackle. Long run by Britton Brown running after the catch there for the other touchdown. Late in the first quarter now, Harris keeps it, takes a big hit at the 40-yard line. He gets right back up, though. Now, you're a quarterback. Because more important, you got to get back and work on a Saturday in Philly. Can't take your first day off. <laughs> Quentin Harris, he's got a man, T.J. Ramming. A little too long. At college national championships in 54 and 2006. Trying to set up the screen, but Duke was all over it. Ramadan did a good job just to get rid of the football. Yeah, that pick six in week two, the only interception so far this year for the Eagles. That pass again low. T.J. Ramming had to go down just to secure it. Fourth down, the snap is fumbled. The Eagles have the football. A rare turnover, and Jordan McRae is going to go to the house. A 52-yard fumble return. And NC Central is right back in this football game. Fourth down, you don't typically go under center very much. And when you're not, you don't have a whole lot of game action. And then you finally have to go under center to take the snap. It's a little bit different. And he's been working out of the shotgun. And because of that, that ball got away from him. So now Quentin Harris goes right back to work. Backup quarterback for the Blue Devils on play action. T.J. Ramming lost his footing, and he uh, is a little slow to get up. Immediately goes to the ground. Tough run by Britton Brown, Britton still Brown fighting for yardage, and because of that, he's got a Duke first down as 20, now 21, and 22 players are in a scrum. And a whistle finally comes, but he picked up an extra seven yards. Long time, but the pile was moving in the direction of Duke's favor, so they kept the play going. You could see him. Yeah, it's never, I've never seen that. Had to that time. Small window to fit that in, and Harris did. First down yardage for Duke. His long passes, he has a chance to get him up underneath him. Change of direction. Look at Britton Brown go. On a play that was dead, he winds up getting all the way to the 27 yard line. Boy, good blocking here, too, at the end. You can see, and I think that's Harris out in front blocking. It's the arm and the ability to do it. It's just once things start to slow down, I think uh, that's when he'll be really good. Screen pass to Bracey. Spins his way to the 12-yard line. Then decided to come here to Durham. Yeah, really good size and speed. It's injuries that good of a player. His father was a standout offensive lineman at Syracuse back in the day. Dave Woolabaugh played nine years in the NFL. So good stock. Two is the yard line to get, and they won't get there. Pass was deflected by Randy Anyanwu. Again, when they played here last year, the final score was 60-7. to 6-0 to 7. 
As Isaiah Totten has nowhere to go, maybe a gain of one. Fielder reps at the backup defensive tackle spot. Totten through the hole, but unable to get out to the first down marker. On the handoff, good cut by Deion Jackson. Beats another man. He's inside the 30-yard line. And the sophomore out of Pace Academy in Atlanta with a huge gainer for the Blue Devils. Deion Jackson and Quentin Harris. Watch Harris. That uh, looks like he held on to the football, read the defensive end perfectly, and let Jackson have the ball. 34-yard pickup. Duke driving the football. It's Britton Brown. First down. Duke. To go for the one-yard line. And they're not going to get there. Look at the penetration along the defensive front for NC Central. It was one of five so far today. That could have been a big play, but tripped up at the last second was Watson, and he is about a yard shy of a first down. Duke team is on the rise along with Virginia, so the top is kind of switching to the bottom, and the bottom's rising. Jonathan Lloyd diving for the pylon. He's in for a touchdown. Well, Lloyd came into this game on fire. Thing here, a thing of beauty. Yeah, he's a physical guy, a really good blocker, but he can run after the catch, too. That's part of the physical ability there as he stiff arms the defender. Now, does he step out of bounds? Boy, that's close. I think he keeps the foot in there, and I'm sure they're going to review it as they do all scoring he has as a defensive coach and a defensive coordinator. Let's see what he dials up here on second down. Well, it didn't contain. Around the corner, another big gainer for Jordan Freeman, the 5'7 redshirt sophomore from Charlotte, North Carolina. Not sure of how much beyond that he has for range. Ramadan puts it up again, and again it's incomplete. Nike Martin, but we've got a flag. That was McDuffie in coverage again. Out there in man-to-man -man coverage, I think they're going to get a hold here as he reached and grabbed the jersey, it looked like, of the receiver. Probably won't get pass interference, but maybe a holding call. Pass interference, number nine, defense. And it's McDuffie, the First senior down. from Snellville, Georgia. Opportunity to maybe get another pass interference call. They run it up the middle, and Duke's big boys up front were ready for it. Jordan Freeman had nowhere to go. Now for Okazie Koke, OKK. Got flagged down in the backfield. Incomplete. Big hit by Victor Demu Kagey. Let's see how they sort this out. Personal foul, hands to the face, number 73, offense. 15-yard penalty, third down. The Duke player whose helmet came off does not have to leave the game for a play because his helmet came off as the direct result of a foul. Ice and give it a shot. 21 seconds to go. They're going to run it. Freeman still on his feet inside the 40. Another helmet goes flying. And it gives you an opportunity here to throw it in the end zone on fourth down as they run it on third and long. And again, Duke that time played a two deep coverage season as their number one quarterback. But uh, he was suspended, didn't start week two because of conduct detrimental to the program. And the idea was that here in week four, of course, they got rained out, uh, postponed last week. NC Central has converted on one third down so far on the screen. They set it up to the redshirt sophomore Jordan Freeman, and he is drilled and driven back at the 15-yard line. That time he had the linebacker that was shooting out that direction that may have forced him to throw it outside. Brown turns the corner, and he could be gone inside the 10. He is in for a touchdown. 48-yard scamper around left end for the redshirt sophomore from Canton, Georgia. This football game doesn't take Duke long to get on the scoreboard here, as you can see. Really, just one arm barely touched him that entire time, and Bruton Brown with that speed as somebody else gets a hand on him. The trip uh, to root for the Eagles as well, as I made my connecting flight through Charlotte yesterday. There was an older couple decked out in maroon head-to-toe wearing their NC... Central Eagles gear like Terrell Lucas, Chris Rump, who we've just seen, Trey Hornbuckle. They have been disruptive. Down the sideline, tipped and incomplete. 
A tremendous effort put forth by Xavier McCoy. It was on that play right before the break. So uh, he continues to be tended to as Quentin Harris goes to work. And on Quentin second Harris down, he picks up seven. Manage this team and manage drives down the field will be very valuable for him in this second half. Harris throws a strike over the middle. Nice catch by Daniel Helm, the tight end. He adjusted a bit, hauled it in, and has a big pickup. Will be his first college action as Harris is now back to his feet. Mm, you can see he got rolled into there. And now getting his first opportunity at the college level. Handing it off, Deion Jackson. They string the play out pretty nicely, and he's going to be short by about a yard. Katrina gives to Jackson. He is stacked up. On play action, he's got a man, and Katrinik has his first career collegiate touchdown pass, and it's to his tight end, Davis Copenhaver. And you like those tight ends. Copenhaver, you saw his hands earlier. Another nice job using his hands to catch that. The big tight end with soft hands and a nice throw. You don't overthrow him. None of the Eagles played because of the hurricane last week. Has to get rid of the football. He does complete the pass to E.J. Hicks, who gets dragged that down after crazy. maybe a gain of two. Yeah. Leonard Johnson Leonard with the stop. He played just once. This might be the game to get somebody like Gunnar Holmberg an opportunity to play quarterback. Nice hands catch as he went to the ground by Jake That's Bobo. Another complete. completion from Katrinik. They say incomplete. 12 game late tonight, Arizona State against the University of Washington. The fighting Herm Edwards looking for another signature win late tonight. Working quick here. Hubbard picks his way through the line of scrimmage for a first down. Doing it patiently too. Wide receivers, a redshirt senior from Plantation, Florida. Keep it on the ground does Duke and it's Hubbard once again who they say is the fastest of the Blue Devils running backs. He has his helmet ripped off but he'll do that every time if it gets him a first down there that's why it came off it would have been another 15 yards tacked on here but good running that time no hesitation as you can see the helmet being ripped off that time Katrinik will throw on third down and that is caught showing blitz Katrinik hands it off and nicely Deion Jackson Able to run the corner. He takes another big shot. This time holds on to the football. And a couple of words exchanged. Jaquel Taylor, the free safety from Raleigh. Different areas. And, and he knows he has not performed well in this building in years past. And uh, trying to make his presence felt. There's a touchdown run right up the middle for Duke. Deion Jackson. Down in the red zone. Just using the big guys up front driving. And you could see. Look at that. Offensive lineman, blue shirts, just driving that North Carolina Central defense into the end zone. <laughs> nice smile on his face here, happy with his day. Flag on the play as Brandon Hill came in to make the big hit. Personal foul, face mask, defense, 15-yard penalty, first down. Chauncey Caldwell in at quarterback again. And once again, Lummy Young, the fourth. Score this football game. Mm. Boy, that's the way to attack right there off the edge. You've got the edge set. He's not going to get by you. You force him inside. Loss of two on the play. And on second down, nowhere to go for Chauncey Caldwell. A lot of space for him right now. He made eight starts a year ago as a freshman. Lofts this one up toward the sideline, but out of bounds. Hubbard tackled by Jerome Foster. They have lost today's starting quarterback, Quentin Harris, to injury. But uh, again, it looked like as Marvin Hubbard picks up another first down. Third down and short, and that'll be a first down. It's recognizable. Well, he has a brother as that pass 
Falls incomplete, intended for Daniel Helm. Because uh, father also, he went to Southern University. Same kind of experience, although uh, HBCU football back in the days of daddy, a little different than they are nowadays. Clemson's taking care of Georgia Tech down in Atlanta, 42-21. For alma mater, Marshall, and I'm, I'm not being facetious at all hosting North Carolina State. It's a huge game for both of those teams. Pass knocked down. It was a forward pass, so it's incomplete. As we've got a fourth down, they're going for it. Katrinic and Bobo lays out to make the catch. A brilliant diving reception at the 13-yard line. We've seen all day, and keep your eyes on the football, secure it. Inbounds, clearly a catch. What a nice effort by Bobo. I'm like, that can only mean one thing. Good open field tackle. Well, that's one of the fun things, too, is getting that escort. Pierre dives over the pile and in for a touchdown. Nice opportunity for the veteran reserve to get into the football game. TD plunge. Duke deciding to go up tempo once they got it inside the 10 yard line down there. And they know how to get you there in a hurry and uh, make a lot of noise doing it. It's a lot of fun. Well, as I was leaving the hotel, I ran into Coach Cutcliffe and said hello very briefly as they were getting on the, uh, the bus. And I enjoyed following. I mean, they were not just the laughing stock of the ACC but of the FBS. In December was charged with plagiarism and dismissed for the spring semester out of school. He worked a landscaping job. Coach Cutcliffe had no intention of bringing him back to school and putting him back on scholarship, but he showed such contrition. We have seen elsewhere of what has gone on here in the state of North Carolina for the last eight or nine days, and rivers are still cresting in certain places. Fortunately, around here in the Raleigh-Durham area, they got off relatively easy. Well, Duke will run its record to 4-0. and oh. They get through the non-conference part of the schedule with wins over Army, Northwestern, Baylor, and today NC Central. Well, got to give them credit. Duke come out here after tough road week last week and uh, really put it on this North Carolina Central team in the beginning of that first half and the second half. Congratulations to them, North Carolina Central. Great effort today and good to see those two key co coaches meeting at midfield.